and this is tutorial uh, 20 of the WinCC. Uh, what we did last time in the last video was we created ourselves a little overview screen and we created ourselves a lamp on button and along with that we created a nice little faceplate and by clicking no it clears the faceplate or the cross um, but what we need to do now is set up this yes button and what we want it to do is switch this lamp on when we've actually stated that we we definitely sure that we want that on so we're going to go back to um, our faceplate now what we've done is if you're on the overview screen uh, just right click and edit your faceplate and that will bring up this tab here um, if this part of the screen is minimized you'll see that faceplate plate configuration is there at the bottom or it could be anywhere up here but just click the up arrows and you will get the faceplate properties now what we need to do is create um, events for this button so what we're going to do is we're going to create two uh, two events um, normally you can use the click I tend to use press and release uh, more than I do um, anything else basically because um, it gives you a little bit more pliability with uh, everything that you're doing so um, if you click and hold down or left click and hold down on the circle you'll see it highlights you just drag and drop into the area okay now what I'm going to do is I can rename this and I'm just going to uh, rename it yes underscore press and double click there again and yes underscore release okay that's created me two events now, um, basically that's all we have to do in there we've got our tag from previous um, and what I'm going to do is go to the overview okay and I'm just going to view uh, the properties there we go okay highlight the faceplate on your overview screen or whichever screen you're going to use and you notice that it highlights everything because you're actually in the face, uh, you've actually created that faceplate there, so it's highlighted highlighted all the objects within that faceplate. If you go down to your events there, you see you now have a yes press and a yes release button. Uh, what we're going to do is on the yes press, we are going to set a function to allow. Uh, the button to come on oh the, sorry the lamp to come on which if I remember rightly was tag 20 okay so we select our tag 20 and we get that from here from our lamp okay if you look at the visibility of that particular lens there you go it's tag 20 okay so uh, let's just go back to our highlight our faceplate again so our events are yes press we set tag 20 and if we run that we should see that when we go to the overview screen click our lamp on are you sure yes there we go we've got our uh, lamp that switched on so there we go we've created that um, but as we just saw uh, that screen still goes up so what we need to do now um, is go back to our edit faceplate and select our yes button and under the events remember we've already pressed it once which created our lamp to go up and we did that through the overview here okay we did that through our yes press what we're going to do is now release that and we're going to go back into our events for that particular button under faceplate and we're going to select the release and we're going to reset the bit and it's tag one which is to hide that faceplate or the visibility of the faceplate 
okay so we've done two things really we've we're looking at the button from the overview screen which we had to create an event for um, as we did uh, previously at the beginning okay and we've created that event so we got yes press and yes release we don't need the release here because that was really only to show you how to drag and drop things so just to save confusion I'm going to delete that one out so what we've done is we've looked at it we've created ourselves a yes press event okay and we've used that yes press event here to set an external tag that's in the WinCC screen itself okay which is this tag here so we've done that but now we need to go back internally into the faceplate and say also when that event is released we need you to reset the internal faceplate tag which is a visibility tag of tag underscore one so what we've got now is when we run this is that we go to our overview screen we select our lamp on now two things are going to happen when I press this yes when I press the yes I'm going to get an external event that triggers this lamp on when I release the button I'm going to get an internal event that closes the faceplate down so I'm, what I'm going to do is click and hold the left mouse click down once I get rid of that screen there we go I've pressed it and I'm holding down the button with my my left click on my mouse to hold it now as soon as I release it the screen disappears okay so you've got two things happening there you've got the yes press which is uh, the event that you've created for your external lamp going on and you've created your release button um, here to reset the looking of the tag so it's a little bit of a, a play around is that just remember that you've got to sometimes you've got to create two things you've got to create an external tag to do something within your screen or within your PLC program um, and for, to get rid of things like I've done there I've had to also create that internal release as well okay and you do that as I said by creating your event on your event interface and that will actually create your ability here to create your external trigger okay your external event